We're here at the Pasadena City Hall today, and what the kids have done is they presented their ideas to these outside professionals. This is really um, one of the joys of the job for me, is, is being exposed to what these kids are thinking about and how they grapple with the issues that we cope with, or try to cope with every day. So each year Marshall does an innovation project, which is we choose a topic. This year the topic is housing. The kids are given about six hours to identify a problem, to develop a research paper on the problem, and then create a presentation. You know, it's hard for me to put myself in their shoes, but I think if I was their age and I had this opportunity, I'd be feeling pretty nervous right now. And every year we have all the kids do a presentation at the school and we come up with the top presentations and we bring them to present to an external panel. One of the most memorable times at the City Council is when we had a 12-year-old come and speak to us about the importance of a housing commission and the entire council chambers where we are now was just silent. They couldn't believe it and one of the City Council members got up and said why does it take a 12-year-old to teach all of us what we should be doing? So when I think about that comment I've thought about these kids today and how all their comments here would be so profound. They hear from me all the time but they need to hear from the kids and especially these amazing kids that have done this awesome research. This was a real joy. I mean, I love hearing what students are thinking, watching them try to come to grips with these really complicated issues. They had a limited amount of time to prepare. I thought they were very brave in terms of uh, what they attempted to do. They were ambitious, uh, pretty fearless, and um, they took criticism very well. Kids had their ideas challenged, they had to defend them, and the concept is that at Marshall we want to make a bigger impact than just within the walls of our school, but beyond the community. I think that the piece on Prop 13 was very interesting, the piece on overnight parking was very interesting to me, the tiny house presentations, I mean all of them had real merit, and the fact that so many of them identified so many different aspects of this housing problem that I've grappled with my whole adult life really spoke to me. Also to help the students prepare themselves for a future where they will be asked to do these things, to develop ideas, to defend them, to challenge them, to make changes in the world. And it's great because some of these ideas will make changes today. We are building a future of leaders here and communicators. Whatever their background and tying that with specific policy initiatives that they need to identify that's well researched like they did today, that makes all the difference when they become very credible.